Hi everybody! Today we are going to make Korean style curry rice. One bowl meal. It's very easy, easy and simple and delicious recipe. Actually in Korean we say kare rice because curry we pronounce kare. This package of curry powder. This is not only curry inside. We also it has a lot of other ingredients including you know, starch. You can get this package at a Korean grocery store. So cheap, $2.99. Also you can choose mild or spicy. I choose like a little spicy. I'm going to use pork, but you can use other meat like beef or you know, chicken breast. Just simple vegetables, potatoes, onion, and carrot. And also I'm making rice. When I was in the university with my friends, we used to go hiking and then this was a perfect dish because they are very simple to make and delicious. So let's start. Two medium sized potatoes. So two potatoes I peeled both like around 10 ounce to 12 ounce it should be. And also I'll just, this one is already peeled and washed. It's a carrot like a carrot, I'm going to use just the, this amount. And onion, this amount. I'm going to chop these all vegetables and put them on this plate. Cut into cubes. Same size, cut it this. And then carrot, I always uh, cut into really small pieces because uh, when you make this, like uh, usually children don't like to eat a big chunk of carrot. So I always uh, like to make a little small pieces. Around quarter inch cubes. Vegetables are done. So three colorful vegetables done. And then meat. I'm going to use pork raw in part. Cut it this around half a pound. In a small size. You can cut it this. So all cutting is done. My vegetables and pork is all cut into small pieces. And then now this is a curry powder. Just before cooking, I like to mix this with water. 100 grams, one package, a whole package I'm using. Then let's put it this in a bowl. Smells curry smell. Look at this color, it's very yellow. This is a half cup water. And mix. We have a really thick yellow kind of mixture. I will use two tablespoons unsalted butter. Long time ago, when I made this my curry rice, I always use margarine at the time. But when I use the butter, the flavor is much, much better. So I'm going to use butter, the two tablespoons. This is medium high heat. Add pork. I'm going to stir fry around a couple of minutes until pork is no longer pink. And then after that, I'm going to add this potato. And then potato. I'm going to stir this for a couple of minutes until potato looks a little tr half translucent. Then carrot and onion. Put 
when me and my friends went to hiking, and then we always, you know, reserve. Okay, you bring some vegetables. You bring some, make it cold like some meat. And then, okay, I'll bring my pot, you know. So we need at least like two pots, large pot. One pot is uh, making rice. The other pot, large pots, we just make. And all together, one person is cutting, and one person is washing, one person is just stir fry, and then work together quickly. In 30 minutes, we make a delicious curry rice. If you guys go camping, just follow this one. Korean style curry rice. So think about me, if you make it. <laughs> Keep stirring so that it's not burning. And then I think we can add water here. This is two and a half cups water. So I'm going to turn down the heat to medium and then cook 10 to 12 minutes until potatoes are really well cooked and also all the carrots are tender. And then I'm going to add this curry mixture and stir this. When you see this, it's uh, thickened because the, the powder has uh, some starch. Wow, done. to eat rice. Stir this so that it's not going to burn bottom. Okay. Very good. And then let's serve. I'm so hungry. Here you go. Today we made curry rice, Korean style curry rice, kare rice. Let me taste it. Nice, beautiful yellow color and juicy. Oh my, it smells good. Delicious, smooth, and soft, juicy, and savory. I want to tell you, when you eat this, definitely eat with the kimchi. Between the, your curry rice scoop, crispy, sweet, sour kimchi is a really go well together. Whenever I taste my curry rice, actually, I was talking about this in my cookbook. I can't help thinking about my grandmother. She's a wonderful cook, always. She's my hero, heroine. One day in my high school day, I made this curry rice. That was kind of new food at the time. Grandmother tasted it for the first time in her life. She was so shocked. Wow, what is it? So delicious. What is it? Oh my, grand, my granddaughter is number one cook. <laughs> she really enjoyed this curry rice you know, that I made. So whenever I make this, I'm thinking about her. I miss her. She already passed away a long, long time ago. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.